Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the Google Play Edition ROM for the Verizon Galaxy S4. Now if you love TouchWiz, which comes on the Galaxy S4, this is not really for you. If you flash this ROM, you're going to lose all the TouchWiz features, so no group play, no, no smart stay, uh, no air gestures, all of that stuff will be removed, but what you're going to get instead of TouchWiz is you're going to get the stock vanilla Android unadulterated experience with all of the Google features natively on the device. And you're also going to get lots of performance, no lag whatsoever, which is something that a lot of you, myself included, have experienced on TouchWiz with the Galaxy S4. As you can see right off the bat, everything moves very smoothly. Also, before we keep going here, I should mention the developer's name. The developer for this version of the ROM is Dubsy. Uh, he's got his thread on XDA. I will include links in the description. He not only has put together a nice DODX version of the Google Play experience that's flashable via recovery for the Galaxy S4, but he has several other versions, including his own personal tweaked version, which he has decided to share with us. So you can find that at the link in the description. If you've ever used a Nexus device, that's basically what you're going to get here. Everything has been stripped down so there's no bloatware. There's nothing to bog down the phone at all. And you guys see how smooth and fast it moves. I mean, everything is just butter. So if we go into settings and about phone, you'll see that we're running Android 4.2.2. I have heard rumors that 4.3 is just around the corner. There's even been some leaked ROMs that have come out as well. None available for the Verizon Galaxy S4 just yet, but it is available on other variants of the S4. And then this is also the latest version. Uh, and then you can see the kernel number and the build number there. JDQ39 Google Edition. So on this ROM itself, there are a few things that are included here. You do get the Red Beam Live Wallpaper application. That is specific to Google Edition phones, so the HTC One gets it and the Galaxy S4. The Nexus phones do not get this Live Wallpaper yet. And then also the Boot Animation, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. That's also included on the Google Edition. Other than that, you do get the Camera application. And this is something that's different as well. You get the Stack menu, which makes navigating the menu so much easier. And you guys can see just how much easier it makes navigating the menu. So that was the main change in the camera app itself, and that is included in this ROM. Of course you get the 4.2 keyboard, which has the gestures, and this is so much better in my opinion than the TouchWiz keyboard because the TouchWiz keyboard does some crazy funky autocorrect and also I noticed with the TouchWiz keyboard that it doesn't always space so like whenever you swipe a word pick up your finger and then swipe another word sometimes you don't get the space the 4.2.2 keyboard has been pretty much flawless for me and this build is also pre-rooted so you don't have to worry about rooting it after the fact so one thing that I found an issue with, but it has, let's see, it's been updated to 4.6. This is version 4.5 of the ROM. You have this LTE on-off application. Whenever you first boot into the ROM, it's going to say LTE, but it may not actually come up. So your data speeds are going to be pretty slow. You'll need to go into this LTE on-off, and you'll need to come down here and change your settings. I found that CDMA Auto worked best for me. He actually encourages you to do the LTE CDMA Auto, and that is actually the setting that he says you should have. You see LTE showed up for me. Uh, that's what you should be running. Like I said though, for me, I found that the CDMA Auto worked better, but it's only showing 3G speeds. And then you also have the K-Tweaker, which has some extra settings here as well. You can change your voltages. You can change your your clock speed, and you can change your governor. And then there were some other settings in there as well. Other than that, you're going to get all of your Google applications. You get Chrome pre-installed. You're going to get Google Keep, Google Hangouts, Google Maps. Play movies, play music, 
and all of that good stuff. I also saw that Google Wallet was pre-installed. I haven't tested it yet, uh, but if it does work, that's awesome because otherwise, to get Google Wallet working on the Verizon S4, you have to do uh, a lot of difficult mining to get that working, so I haven't really tested that. It may or may not work, but it is there automatically. Uh, pretty cool ROM. It's a very clean ROM. If you want just stock Android 4.2.2, this is the best way to get it. There's no need to go out and purchase a whole new $700 phone when you have the ROM available. Shoutouts to Dubsy for providing us with this 4.2.2 Google Experience ROM. We'll go ahead and flash the ROM, so you'll need to download it from the link in the description. Then you'll boot into recovery. To install this ROM, you'll need to boot into Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery. The first thing you want to do is wipe. So you wipe data, cache, and Dalvik swipe to wipe. Give that just a few minutes. Then you'll go to install. If you downloaded it directly to your phone, it should be in your download folder. You're looking for the Google Edition Verizon. Uh, it should be 4.6. Mine's 4.5. And we'll swipe to flash give that just a few minutes when it's finished you can reboot the device so I'll go ahead and leave you guys with the Google Play Edition boot animation if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this on all the devices that I carry you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com I'll have the latest in Android and tech news be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx Thanks for watching, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.